Are you looking for a quick, easy and free way to convert your audio and video files to MP3 files here on the iPhone or the iPad? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record and release your best music. Now, being able to convert your music or your audio or your video files to an MP3 file, a standard codec, is a really cool thing to do. But until now, there hasn't been a really effective and easy and free way to do it here in iOS. So in this video, I'm going to show you all about the Workflow app, how we can set up an action in Workflow that's going to convert our files to MP3. Let's go right now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is go to our app store and we need to find and download the workflow app. So we're just going to go to search, we're going to type workflow, and then when we hit search, workflow should pop up as our top app here. Now I've already got it here so I can open it, but you'll just need to download and then open the workflow app. Okay, so once you've installed and gone through the setup, which is very simple and straightforward, you're gonna get a screen like this. Now I've just selected to put a couple of the default workflows from the gallery here on my screen. Yours could be blank, it could have others. But what we wanna do now is tap on create workflow to create our first convert workflow. So here we go, what we're gonna firstly do is tap on action extension because this is the type that we want. Now up the top here, this workflow accepts anything. We're gonna tap on anything, and then we're gonna deselect all by tapping in the top left here, and we only want media. So we're gonna tap on media, and then we're gonna go done, because we only want this to pop up if we've got a media file, a video, or an audio file that we want to convert. The next thing that we need to do here is to add in our actions. So we'll tap on the actions button in the bottom left, and here are all the actions we can do. Now, the one that we're looking for is to encode media. So you can see it right up here under photos and video. If you can't find it, just search here, go encode. And there you go, there's your encode media. We're gonna tap and hold, and then we're gonna drag this, and then we're gonna drop it here in our workflow. So you can see here, we've got our settings here. Now it is audio only that we want. So we're gonna tap the slider to make it audio only. Our format, we can select any of these, but we want MP3, and then our mode is stereo there. Now the bit rate, is the quality of your mp3 so you could put in 320 there or 128 or 192 whatever you want but what i'm going to do is i'm going to say ask when run which means it'll pop up and ask me every time i run this what bit rate i actually want which is very cool we're now going to tap the little metadata here and what we can do here we can enter metadata but the more logical thing to do is to do this again so we're just going to tap on each of these and we're going to go ask when run so we'll go down and i'll add ask when run to all of these now and finally the artwork will just leave as choose variable there so we're good to go we're going to tap done and there is our encode media options now the next thing we want to do is we want to add an option that's going to preview the file preview the mp3 file for us before we go ahead and save it so let's go actions again and what we're looking for is the quick view here so we'll type in quick so it's called quick look so we'll tap and hold and drag across and we'll pop quick look here underneath so that means that it's going to do the encoding it's then going to open and preview the file and the final step we want it to do we'll tap on our actions button in the bottom left again we want to be able to save it so once again we'll just search our actions we'll go save and here's save file so we'll tap and hold and drag this across, drag it down to the bottom. So you just need to make sure you're holding it still with your finger, drag it to the bottom and release. And there you go. We now have our encoding, our quick look and our save file. So we are all done now. We just tap on done and there's our un untitled workflow. So we want to actually edit this so that we can actually have a title. So let's tap back into it and we're gonna tap on the settings option here in the top right, the little cog. And from here, we can actually name it and we'll call this convert to mp3 and if you wanted to do a whole bunch of these for different bit rates for stereo and mono the sky's the limit here you can do whatever you want and then we'll tap on icon and we can tap here to the little uh, glyph icons here and let's just find a relevant music type icon let's go with this one here and let's make it a color, make it red because it goes faster as we know. So here we go, we're good to go now. We've got this in here, we're gonna tap done, and then we're gonna tap done again, and there we go, we've got our workflow action. So very cool, yeah, we can tap it from here and then we can go ahead and use it, but that's not what we're gonna do because the good part of workflow is that we can actually do it from other places. So what we're gonna do now is let's go to our files app. So I'm just going to slide down and type in file so we can go to our files app and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab a file. So I'll just show you where I am here. I'm here in on my iPhone. 
so on my iPhone, and you can go to any file location, but I just happen to store a lot of my files in here because I'm a GarageBand user. So I'm gonna go here into this GarageBand file transfer folder. And here is a WAV file. So this, this track here, Pete John Summer, this one here is a WAV file. You can see it's 38.5 meg. So what if I wanna email this to a friend so that they can check it out, but I don't wanna email them a nearly 40 meg file. It's gonna to take too long. So I can use this to convert it. So what we do here is we tap select in the top right corner. We'll tap on that file and then the bottom left, we have our little share option. So we'll tap on share and it's going to pop up and here you can see I've already got it enabled down the bottom here, run workflow. But let's just assume I didn't. I'm just gonna go here tap on more and remove that. So the activities at the bottom here where it's got save to files and copy, if I tap on more, then what I can do is actually enable this run workflow and tap done. And now whenever I'm sharing a file from anywhere, run workflow is gonna be an option. So let's tap run workflow now, and it's going to open up workflow, and it's gonna ask us which of our workflows we wanna use. Now it's worked out that convert to MP3 is the only one I have that's relevant from here, and we're going to tap on that one now. You can see here this green box goes around in code media and it's gonna pop up and ask us for some details. So we want our bit rate now, because I wanna email this, let's just make it 192 and I'll leave all the others blank. I won't bother in putting in all of my metadata, but you could obviously include all of them. I'm gonna hit done. Now it's gonna go away and encode the media. Now, depending on the size of the file, if it's video or audio, and what bit rate you're choosing is going to make this longer or shorter. But uh, in my, in my uh, history here, it usually takes around about 30 seconds for a standard sort of song file to encode. So let's let this encode and then we'll pop back and see what we need to do next. Okay, so it took a little bit longer for this file, probably closer to 60 seconds, but here you can see we're now previewing this file. So if we hit play, then it starts playing back my file, which is very cool. But now if we tap on done, it goes and executes the last command, which is to save the file. So now we can go ahead and choose a location. Once again, we can put this anywhere we like. I'll just pop it back in the same location here, GarageBand file transfer, hit add, and there we go. We now have, if I just tap on select, you can see down here we have the two files. So we have a 38 meg WAV file and we have a five meg MP3 file. And the cool thing about the Workflow app is it uses some of the behind the scenes kind of codecs that Apple don't really allow other third party app developers into. But then the reason for that is that Apple uh, own or have owned or are buying or something Workflow. Anyway, you get access to this MP3 encoder, which you really can't do in any other apps, definitely not for free. So we are done here, but I wanted to show you one final cool thing because that's great for an audio file, but what if you want to extract the audio from a video file? Well, you notice that I've got another file here. This is the intro to my uh, channel, which is, should be pretty familiar if we play that one. So there is our video file. What if I wanted to extract this audio to use it in another project? Well, easy, all I need to do is tap on select and then select this file, hit our share option down the bottom left and wait a moment. Now let's hit run workflow again and we'll tap on convert to MP3. You can see you can get pretty quick with that. Let's say we want 320 BPS. We want a, a higher bit rate, KBPS, sorry, uh, this time around and we'll tap done. And it's gonna go away, let's do its encoding. It's gonna be quick this time because it's a short file. Here it is as an MP3 file. We tap done, we tell it where to save, which we will do so here, hit add. And there we go. We now have down here, this file in the bottom right corner is a 224 kilobit, kilobyte file, which is an MP3 of just the audio. Here it is now. There you go, how cool is that? So you can see here that any audio file, any video file that's compatible in your iOS device, you can now convert out the audio to an MP3, which is gonna make it really convenient when you're recording projects, when you're trying to get audio to share with other people. It's a really cool way to go. So there you go, that is the workflow app here in iOS. And there you have it, how cool is the Workflow app? Not only for doing this, converting audio files, but there is a whole heap more that you can do with Workflow. The sky is really the limit. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below, and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you are a Workflow user and have any other great ideas for actions or tasks that you complete using Workflow, let us know, share them with the community, drop them in the comments below. You can also subscribe to the channel here by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.